What's that? The music track says kill now? Well, it is Nagito. Let's get him, Damon. Why, hello there, Damon and Billy. You're the bittersweet gamers, aren't you? He stole our joke. We meet again. The timing's too perfect. You were waiting here, weren't you? You caught me? Oh, so you caught me sneaking up on you right at the end of your last episode? Even though you thought that it was just going to make everything neutral, then you could walk around and that'd be a perfect way to open the episode next time? Instead, you were still trapped in an event and there's no way to take it back. Uh... You're forever trapped in my pace, guys. <laughs> wow, this is really weird, huh? Let's move on. <laughs> That's not the only thing I caught. Pay attention to the to the bridge above Jabberwock Park. Do you notice anything strange about the strut underneath it? Look at the strut behind it where the water is going up and down with the waves. Ooh. Notice how it's not on the front strut. That means it was an animation error, I'm sure. Huh. It's like that one time you saw the clouds. Yeah, the yeah, cloud like the skybox. In, yeah. in Persona 5. Wouldn't it we be the... <laughs> yes, it would be. Wouldn't it be best if we traveled together? If you've beaten the game, we must think similarly, right? Don't you yeah. insult us like that. No, maybe I'm being a little too conceited. A guy like me thinking similarly to you guys? I mean, nobody thinks like the bittersweet gamers, am I right? <laughs> It's okay, just make your point, and then we can move on. They just well, overthink everything and try to analyze everything. They don't come to the quickest and easiest solution like I do. Everything I say makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> there was an airport on the first island, right? I told them to meet up there. Them? You don't know? Why, the characters who appeared in Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, of course. I wonder if he figured out who Sato was. I know... Okay, we have thought about it. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that Sato is Sato. Yeah, yeah. The girls must be busy with their investigations, too. It'd be a waste of time if we both questioned them, no? And not like they would answer, give you any straight answers, buddy. Bye now. If you want to hear what they have to say, you should come with me. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. Mm. Yeah, I agree. What should we do? I guess the only thing we can do is go. I guess you're right, but I don't want to do anything at his freaking pace. It's what we wanted too, so... Hello, Chiaki. I know you've been following me, but let's talk. It's also funny how in order to talk to them, you have to, like, basically walk right up on top of them. <laughs> hey, Chiaki, can you give me a summary of that game? Yep. A summary of Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, right? No, the game we're playing right now. Well, I mean, I can, I guess, but it'll take a while. Besides, the viewers don't really need to hear it, right? I guess you're right. Just to be clear, we do remember Fuyuhiko's little sister from the free time event. Yeah, yeah, he said that if anything happened to him, his little sister would take over the Yakuza clan. Right, and if the events in the Twilight murder syndrome case... Whatever, Trying to get the disco or whatever. Whatever it's called, case murder syndrome Twilight... On the bone meat. Huh, I wonder if that's gonna be the motive at the end. <laughs> when we do the when we do like the break yeah, like the bullet battle thing. Oh god, we'll never get it right! <laughs> I can never get the name of the of that dang game right. Anyway. Presumably, if it is real, which we're still not sure if it is or not, but Motokuma is sort of asserting that it is. Right. It's saying that a girl named Sato killed Fuyuhiko's little sister. Yeah, and then Fuyuhiko killed her. Right. Paradise 2, welcome. <laughs> Man, now I'm just going to be thinking about that forever. Over, ah, uh, Hajime here. <laughs> Nikon, Ibuki, Hyoko are all here. Um, the names on the staff roll for Twilight Syndrome Murder Case were Tsumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyoda, Sato, and Kuzuryu, except that I'm actually wrong, because instead of Sionji, the credits, in fact, said Kyoko. And I was wondering, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. Wow. I really wanted Fuyuhiko to come, too. 
but he locked himself in his cottage and wouldn't come out for me. That's unsurprising. That's kind of his default reaction at this point. We're kind of assuming that this motive is specifically for Fuyuhiko, who it is would... the person who got who, who beat got it the first reward. and got the reward. If it's, I mean, whether it's for Fuyuhiko or not, it's 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 like he's the only person who would sort of get something. Yeah. Well, hmm. well, maybe not. I mean, because if their memories of their school life were taken, then none of them would have remembered it. The question is, is would he trust that Monokuma's telling the truth? And, well, maybe it depends on the prize. Would Fuyuhiko actually want to get revenge against Mahito? Because of Mahito's photo, that's how he found out who it was that that's killed true, his but sister, Mahiru was if the that's one being true. Picked on, and that prompted Sato to kill her. But no, you're that right. That, that does sound like a pretty flimsy. I was like, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> well, okay, in any case. There, there we have it. it our, our, uh, our assumption is going is that everybody is going to try and pin fu pin this on Fuyuhiko. Right. Sorry. So unfortunately, he's absent. It's probably because I'm so incompetent. <laughs> I apologize. There is no excuse for you. My oh, God, what? this hand! I just can't believe it. <laughs> huh? It's okay to be absent. I thought you said we'd get executed if we didn't come. Well, I'm glad you're here. Executed. By the way, Hiyoko, do you leave footprints on sand when you walk without pulling up your kimono? Uh, what? Why are you asking about my kimono, pervert? <laughs> I'm sorry. He asked about your kimono. Shut up, pig barf. I'm sorry, I'm pig barf. I mean, you said Monokuma had something important to tell us, right? We came because you told us that, and we all think you work with Monokuma. Sorry, that was a lie. Uh. Well, at least he got them here. We did That's need. True. We don't have to run around tracking them down. Oh, a lie! But lying is bad. You tricked us. You shouldn't lie to your friends, even though we're not your friends. What the? What the heck? Jeez. Fine, then I'm leaving. No, no, wait. Can you wait until we've finished our business with you? Right, Hajime? Do not phrase it like that, Nagito. This is like I'm on the same team as Nagito. I uh, told you, Hajime. You're the same as me, aren't you? <laughs> I'm sorry, there's an appropriate in you and no. <laughs> no, I can't focus on that right now. I have to get information from them. But they're not going to remember anything, but we'll see what happens. It's worth a shot. Hey, Yubuki. What? Yubuki? <laughs> Fubuki? <laughs> Fuyuki. <laughs> hey, Yubuki. Can I ask you something? Why? Bring it on! I'm not challenging you to a fight! Well, fortunately, it's Ibuki you're challenging, so... Fair point. Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case? Aww. Well, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at those things. Well, no, it's an arcade game. You can tell because of the cabinet it was in. Uh, but in Japanese, calling it a computer game would work just fine. Fair point. Ibuki's a tough girl, so I don't touch anything powered by electricity except electric guitars! I'm pretty sure that's a lie, but now's not the time to really dwell on something like that. Her unique tone and hyper energy. There was a character like that in the game, too. Let me ask you one more thing. What's the relationship between you and Mahiru? And I'm not asking for the obvious answer. Oh, you mean that in a perverted way? No, I just said not that way! No, in a normal way. Aww. Well, even if you ask me that, Ibuki's encounter with my hero was... Mm, mm. Oh. oh, when I asked my hero this morning to go to the beach with us, she made this real disappointing face. Hmm. A disappointing face? I'm still not positive that Mahiru herself wasn't there sort of trying, like, with the bat, trying to lure somebody. She would have a reason, because, because maybe she's the one who took the photo, so that that could kind of make sense. She may have... <coughs> of course you coughed. <laughs> Excuse me. If there is a microphone, Billy must cough. Like, we don't know if Mahiru played the game and then maybe suspected that Fuyuhiko was going to try and come after her because of it, like some sort of fearful... That could happen, yeah. Yeah, so we just don't know. Yeah, but disappointment varies depending on the person. Ibuki associates it with department store rooftops. Huh, how interesting. Department store rooftops. Let's stay focused on Mahiru, Oh, David. sorry. Sorry, Hajime. That's totally it. It turns out Mahiru had some business, too, and she wanted to invite me to that instead. Oh! Huh. 
She said something like, I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans, maybe she was gonna... Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. You see yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. yeah. But if she was inviting everyone there, then maybe not? She was... She declined the invitation to go play with everyone, with all the girls at the beach, and then was like, I was gonna give this information to everyone. Do you accept? Because if... Because... She would, uh huh. She only needs one person to come. That's true. Okay. Okay. I'm not. That, I'm not. I'm not saying that definitively. But no, no, no. But that points towards it. Um. Do you know what she meant by everyone? That's a little vague. I doubt she wanted to invite everyone. Aww. Nope. I didn't ask. She means one person who accepts, which I'm really hoping isn't Hiyoko, who you should talk to last. I was intending to. I see. My hero invited Ibuki. Why? Ta-da! Hey, Chiaki, can you blah, 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 summary of game that audience doesn't need to see? No. Yep. Naito, do you have anything important to say? Nope, didn't think so. <laughs> the names on the staff roll for Twilight Syndrome murder case were, like I said before, Tsumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Nioda, Sato, Kuzuryu, and wow. Kuzuryu. But I don't have anything else. Jeez. Jeez. Don't you dare! <laughs> Seems like he's not investigating it either. I want to throw him into a jet turbine. Uh, hey, do you have a minute? There's something I wanted to ask you. You know, it wouldn't be a good idea to throw Nagito into a jet turbine. He just, first off, how would you reach it? And second, he would just be like, Spike. he'd just be like, ow! Hey, can somebody bring me a ladder so I can get out from here? <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a jet hey, can't turn on. Guys, you can't kill me like this. <laughs> if it gets to the point where I'm going to starve to death, I'm just going to like dangle off and drop and it'll hurt, but I'll be okay. But maybe somebody help me down first. Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, Mikan? Um, no, since we said we weren't going to play that game. Also... I'm not really good at video games. I lost to Chiaki, even though I had a team of six legendary Pokemon, remember? M Mikan, it's, it's Chiaki. Everyone's going to lose to her. I'm pretty slow, and I panic instantly, which I bet you never noticed. I, I'm just moving on. <laughs> her... Timid tone. I'm pretty sure the girl A character was like that. Too. I'm sorry, I'm girl A. Hey, hey. Anyway, can you tell us about your relationship with Mahiru? Chiaki, I'm asking the questions. <laughs> um, you're just trying to flirt with Mikan. I am. R relationship with Mahiru? I, I first met her um, when <laughs> we first gathered at the classroom with everyone else. And after arriving at the island, I did have a few conversations with her, which is more than I have had with other people, but <laughs> what more could it be? Did my hero hate me like everyone else? That's definitely it! I'm sorry she hated me! She doesn't know anything. No, it's more like she doesn't remember anything. But even though she hated me for her to actually invite me, she must have been a really kind person. Uh-huh. Why don't you tell us about this invitation? It was kind of my hero to invite me so she could murder me. This morning? That's when it happened. She looked very serious, and she was wondering if we could all meet up so she could discuss something. But, but I already had plans to go to the beach. So I had to decline because I needed to prepare for that. Now, it's also possible that Mahiru was going to talk about what she found in the game to the girls who were yeah. in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mahiru would have but, talked the... Uh -huh. But if, if uh, our killer had decided to preempt this, hmm. you know, like... See, why is it that everybody declined? Because they'd already accepted... Sonya's. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, can't say I'm not suspicious of Sonya, but much less suspicious yeah, of Sonya Yeah, because that mask completely, yeah. The, like, the sparkling justice mask can only implicate Sonya, 
Right? Or Pe or Peko, she was in the library too. And she even referenced it. That's true. I guess it could also implicate Peko. Those are the two people who know about it aside from Hajime. I that guess we know of. We, I, I guess it could implicate Hajime, but we kind of know what Hajime <laughs> is getting up to probably, and they're not going to do that in Chapter 2, even if there is something funny going on with Hajime. That would be kind of messed up, wouldn't it? Look, I was predicting it the entire time in the last game with Makoto, so... That's true. Maybe not, or maybe. Anyway, when I did... Declined the invitation. She made this lonely face and said that she'll reschedule for another day. <laughs> but if I, if only I went with her, this wouldn't have happened. I don't know about that. That might be I, true. Not, yeah, the killer probably wouldn't have uh, tried if there was someone else there. I mean, because it's not like Mikan could have protected my hero. But right. <laughs> my hero invited Mikan. Wow! Well, we've been talking about that! Ah. I see. Looks like we've obtained some pretty valuable testimonies, don't talk to Hiyoko. Based on that... <laughs> what was that? It seems like Mahiru also beat that game, don't you think? Why do you know that? Why are you an I idiot, Hajime? If she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Because she beat the game, she talked to the people who appeared in that game. <laughs> Just like what we're doing right now. But still... But in her case, it was much more serious. Probably. I mean, she was forced to learn that she was involved in that game. That's true. But I'm surprised. I never thought Mahiru would play that game. That's true. That was unexpected. Nagito... Didn't you tempt her into playing that game? Oh, you got me. <laughs> what? What? I remember. Anyway, what happened to Mahiru? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Why do you know that? Wait! You tempted her, right? Just like you did to me! And it worked in both cases. <laughs> tempt! That's a rude thing to say. It's an accurate thing to say. No, that's wrong. That's disrespectful towards Mahiru. Isn't that right? There's no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. At that time, she was already considering giving that game a try. All I did was give her a little push. It's obvious. That's all it was. What the heck? Well, but more importantly, isn't it better if we listen to what she has to say? She's being as quiet as ever. Um, how interesting. If you criticize his his ultimate waifus, then he explodes like a madman. I'm counting on you, Hiyoko. By the I way, wonder if he'd let us talk to her first. Or maybe she'd just do this. By the way, what do you mean as quiet as ever? Since when has Hiyoko ever been quiet? I think that's just him being him. Hey. If Mahiru spoke to everyone who appeared in the game, she should have talked to you too. Right? And Hyoko would go with her. Yeah. I remember she ran away crying. Mm. Well, Hyoko? <laughs> <laughs> she never talked to me at all. You're lying. <laughs> That's weird. Man, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. What are you covering up? What are you lying about? So I'm just going to go back to my cottage now. Bye. I don't think it was Hiyoko, but we have to make sure it wasn't. We have to find out what she knows. We we have to clear her because she was there and knows something. Oh, the, what, the, Hiyoko! I mean, just like why I don't think it's Fuyuhiko, even though I don't really have any evidence for that. Mm -hmm. You know, I, it's possible that he's playing the Byakuya card and contaminating the whole thing. I don't right, know, right. but we still have to eliminate it. We have to eliminate everyone. Yeah. Now, there are certain people that we can just instantly be like, right. it couldn't have been you. Right, you but know? people it could. Yeah. Ignoring my voice, Hiyoko ran away as though she were avoiding me. Uh, looks like it's okay to say she ran away. <laughs> and Nagito is reading my mind. It's very unsettling. Yeah, she's clearly suspicious. That's pretty much decided, right? Now, here's the thing, Damon. If Nagito starts accusing someone... Is he going to do it because he knows they're not the killer? Or because they are and he expects us to distrust him? At that point, 
uh, it's just an endless spiral of... Of what ifs? Of doubts and what ifs and speculation. So I guess we'll just have to ignore what he says. Decided? Now then. Regardless, it looks like we're finished here, so why don't we part ways for now? There's still something I need to investigate. Oh, uh, yeah? Why don't I come with you? Bye now. I'll see you again later. Mm. Check it out. I'm pulling a Usami, leaving when you're trying to talk to her about something important. <laughs> You've already left. Why are you still talking? Oh, sorry about that. What the heck is his problem? Even his exit was pushy. Chucky, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime one more time and investigate? Oh, you want me to tell you about the events of the game, right? No, no, no I no. don't! It's very important to investigate the scene of the crime, but let's go over to Mahiru's cottage first. Mahiru's cottage? That should be something we investigate every time, shouldn't it? Yeah, I agree, and I like that. If she beat that game, it's best if we investigate there, I think. See? She might have that. The photo. Hajime knew... Well, we're assuming it's a photo. Hajime saw Fuyuhiko with, with the manila folder, but nobody else did. Right. Oh, the ending prize. Also, maybe he just obtained a manila envelope. If that's the case, I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? Remember, we're assuming that that's the ending prize, but what if it isn't? What if... You're right. You're right. Um... That's your cue to say yes. Look, I've got the script right here. Huh. Chiaki. But I've got to have someone following me around during the investigation. That's how these games work. Do you want me to summarize the events of Twilight Murder? Oh, okay. I can't run fast enough. Well, the door looks unlocked. <laughs> of course. Moving after you're told would be through the... <laughs> <laughs> Goodness, you people should have warmed up your mouths. Well, after you're told to be two-thirds rate, so I made sure to be one step ahead. Oh, now I get that joke. However, removing what's inside is a huge no-no. There are others who want to investigate, too. How fair of you. I guess I should go inside. Of course, the cork board. And you note that this room is neat and organized. Yeah, stacks of books everywhere. Compared to my room, the cottage had a somewhat pleasant smell wafting throughout the room. There's our Monokuma. Yeah. That proves Mahiru was here. But she's not coming back. Um, then I should... Wait make... just a second and let me grab that Monokuma. Oh, I was going to do that too. My collection isn't finished either. Um, let's try looking for a naughty book. Eh, eh. Why? Yep. No, no, I was only kidding. It was a joke to break the tension. After BSG, each made the same lame joke in order to break the tension. See? It was tension breaking section. I'm trying to be your friend. Oh, don't say it like that, David. Now I feel bad. <laughs> kidding. Are you that kind of person? It's I, hard to tell. You're kind of deadpan. I guess I'm not really very good at it. I'm not saying that line. Well, at least I don't feel nervous anymore. Oh, I succeeded. Wait, could that be the reason she said that? Does that count as us calling the next line? I kind of want to say yes, but I don't know how much of that is our own arrogance. Fair point! <laughs> but it looks like we don't need to search for it. Check out that thing on top of the bed. There's a naughty book on top of the bed? Well, well it's not a first. naughty book, it's... No. Yes. Man, we've really been stressing out about that. I know, right? So, let us look everywhere but there. Just like my cottage, it has an open design that invokes a feeling of tropical relaxation. Ah, interior decorating with BSG. There's not much that catches my eye except for that pinboard full of photos. Then why did you look at it? Why can you look at it if it didn't catch your eye? These photos, Mahiru must have taken them. She probably developed them at the supermarket. Mm. What? Mm. Wow, she has got some nice equipment. Look at those lenses. Even in this situation, there's a lot of photos of smiling people. Is that because of her personality? Oh. Yeah, it wasn't a naughty book that Chiaki saw. There's an envelope on top of the bed. Hey, hey. Could it be? 
This might be it. The ending prize Monokuma gave to the first person who beat that game. I told you that it was there a second ago, but then you looked away at other things. I'm, I'm so sorry, Chiaki. I've got ADHD. Assuming that the folder Fuyuhiko had was in fact the prize, I wonder if he approached Mahiru and tried to threaten her or maybe push her or, or gave it to her or gave it yeah yeah it's just like you need to see this too because you're just as involved as me yeah yeah what's inside the envelope well i think it's the uh picture of the vase the broken vase well I mean, maybe. let's find out i turned over the envelope and what came falling out was a few photos <gasps> oh this photo well! There we go. Photos that were actually there. I mean, not the picture of the vase from the game, but maybe the picture of the real vase. This yeah. seems to indicate that it really happened then. Yeah. In as much as we can trust it, which is... <laughs> again, one and two can't both be real simultaneously. Right, right. Without other circumstances. Right. This is a photo of Mikan, Ibuki, and Hyoko in what appears to be some sort of entrance hall. It is the Hope's Peak uniform, isn't it? It is! It's just like that game! There was a similar scenario during the first day in Twilight's True Edition. Girl B was in a bad mood because girl A was late, and girl D tried to cheer her up by taking her picture. Is this the photo she took? Are these going to be the photos all taken by girl D in the game? Because she snapped a few. Look at this photo too. Yeah, that's the real vase. A broken vase. Is that the same photo Girl D showed Girl E on the third day? As I recall, a broken vase was in the classroom next to the music room. Yeah, on murder weapon. Yeah. But still. But this photo is more shocking. As Chiaki showed the photo to me, I was stunned into silence. Yeah. It... Ah, uh, that's the music room from the first game. Or is this Sato? It... Okay, something doesn't add up. Just... Wait! No, 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 That's not Sato. Remember, Fuyuhiko's sister was killed in the music room. Sato was killed in, the, in class 1A. You're you right. You can tell because of the cheeks. She's You're... got the Fuyuhiko cheeks. This is an actual photo of a dead body. Since there's a piano behind the body, it looks like she's... It looks like it's in the music room. If that's the case, could this be the photo of the first victim? It's not, I mean, I see what you mean with the few Hiko cheeks. You're absolutely right. That looks like Sonya, though, doesn't it? Kind of does, yeah. I mean, with the blonde hair and everything. Although I guess there could be a, a bit of, like, maybe same face character designerness. Like the show, show of relation? No, just like you see a bunch of characters designed by the same mm, person, mm. and some of them can start to like blend together like what if you put blue hair on her would we go is that sayaka see ah, what I'm saying? i see what you're saying i see what you're but saying but yeah that's fuyuhiko's little sister you mean it's the victim of the murder that occurred on the first day oh yeah the one they blamed on a pervert um. and one more oh god this is the last photo <sighs> okay so sato is sato yeah yeah this is probably the photo of Girlie after she got killed on the fourth day. Um, I mean, it nearly matches her body in the game. See? I know, but the game used a really weird graphic that made her look strange. Yeah, there's no mistake. This is a photo of Girlie. Hmm. With that, we finished looking at all the photos. So, based on all these photos... Yep. Yeah, it seems pretty clear. This is the ending prize. This is the ending prize for beating Twilight, and what's depicted in these photos proves that Twilight Syndrome murder case is based on an actual murder. T does that mean that stuff about our memories being stolen? Huh? huh? Well, what's this? Is there something else? See? There's a note inside the envelope. Try playing Twilight Syndrome. After you get a game over, press down five times for the real game. Once you do, you should remember what you all did to my sister. We'll talk then. This note. Wait. Time out. Maybe the first person to beat the game and receive the ending prize was, as you saw and BSG has pointed out <laughs> repeatedly, is Fuyuhiko. 
someone else sent this to Mahiru. And that person is the one who actually received the ending prize. Mahiru wasn't just lured there by Nagito, she also received this envelope. Yep. And that's why she played that game, right? Then the person who played this game first... I saw you, Hijo! This envelope looks really familiar! And the word sister written in this note! Kuzu to you, Kuzu to you! Based on these clues, I've almost got it! I can't think of anyone other than it's him. It's Sonya! Nekomaru. It's Sonya in a locker! Hey, hey. <laughs> Let's not go down that route, Damon. Yeah, I'm glad we came here to investigate. Because we did that, we discovered a very important clue. Yeah, I agree. But there's still one thing left. We have to find out who actually killed Mahiru, but there's not much time left. I need to hurry. Ah! <laughs> I just love standing outside of doors and waiting for you guys to come out. You weren't standing outside a door last time, though. I just love standing outside entranceways and waiting for you to come out. Hajime and Chiaki. What a coincidence! If something happens twice, third time's the charm, so they say. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Nagito? What coincidence? Are you a stalker or something? Well, yeah, haven't you noticed? <laughs> Don't say that. I was just thinking about filling you in on the results of my incredibly trustworthy investigation. Results? Did you find something? And you can totally Bounce believe me. me. I'll let you know if you drop to your knees and lick my shoes. N Nagito? What? <laughs> just kidding. I was joking. Uh-huh. Was it funny? It didn't sound like a joke to me. It sounded like some sort of... Other persona, maybe. I don't know about that. Well, it's about the footprints. The killer left their footprints in front of the beach house, right? Well, there isn't actually any proof that those are the killer's footprints. I mean, me and Damon have come up with all sorts of other... There's a couple of things it could be. There's no reason you couldn't have... That somebody couldn't have just wiped the footprints yeah. away. Did you find out whose footprints those are? <laughs> If you want to know, I highly recommend you come to the beach house with me. <sighs> with you? Of course, you'll come with me, right? Only because the game makes me. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. But if I can get a clue... What are you going to do, Chiaki? Hmm. I'm going to try and talk to Fuyuhiko and see if he can tell me anything. He might not say something if you're there, since you're so much larger than him. I'll leave this to you. <laughs> Ouch! Yep. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea. I don't want you coming to see these footprints. You might notice something. <laughs> anyway, if someone like me tried to talk to Fuyuhiko, it'd be impossible, but it might be different with a girl. Just be careful that he doesn't get rough with you. Isn't that kind of what I was saying? Kind of, yeah. Yep. I guess this is where we part, Tripo. I'll see you later, Hajime. Was that about me or Nagito? Hey, hey. What? D did you actually want her to stay? Nagito, ha buddy. Hajime, the, you dog. Of the two people that I was previously talking to, there is one that I would much prefer to talk to over the other, and it's not you. Actually, what do you mean? Bye now. Let's go. I'll go on ahead to the beach house and wait there. That way you don't have to look for me on the map to see if there's any fun dialogue from me. Well, I wonder where Mikon went. She didn't like trip and fall in that little conveyor belt, did she? Help me. <laughs> I fell down and I got caught in this. Then there was a suitcase that got knocked open and I rolled into it. And then that big pineapple rolled into it. And then the suitcase closed. The pineapple's really big and spiky. It really hurts. I keep calling, but Ibuki can't hear me. I think she can and she's lying me. I'm sorry, I'm too quiet. After thinking about it carefully one more time, this is going I definitely can't remember any lovey-dovey encounters between Ibuki and Mahiru. I'm very disappointed. I didn't ask if it was lovey-dovey. Apparently Mikan was invited too, but Ibuki has no ideas about that either. Poke, poke, poke. Stop poking me! Like, if it was going to be a sticky, gooey encounter between Ibuki, Mikan, and Mahiru... Speaking of 
sticky and gooey! This pineapple really hurts! Can somebody get me out of here? I just have no idea. Gooey? I'm sorry, she's gooey! A anyway, it just means she doesn't know the reason why Mahiru invited both her and Mikan. Oh, there are wetsuits here. I did say Sonya might have gotten it from the marketplace. That's true. So we noticed someone of interest here in the library. We need to talk to you, Nekomaru. And it's not about shit. <laughs> oh, it's you, Hajime. Uh, how's your investigation going? Did you have a fight with Akane or not? Well, what Damon said. Not that it matters, but Nekomaru and libraries don't really How mix. do you know that? Damn it. Another killing. What did Mahiru do to deserve this? All I could do for Mahiru is find out who the killer is and teach them a lesson. Huh? That reminds me, Sonya was here just right, a while Sonya ago. Right, came here to check on something. Yeah, because she saw the mask, so right. she probably came to... She seemed excited about finding some new information and headed towards the beach house. Okay, that's good. She did? I remember, she said she had an idea about the mask we found near Mahiru's body. It might be better if I confirm that with Sonya one more time, but uh, isn't there something else that I really need to ask you about? Ah! Is there something else I need to ask you about? When you see a woman with a bloody head wandering around claiming you as the cause. You need to tell us something about... Ancient spirits of evil, transform this decayed form to Mumra, the ever-living lava. Ah, oh, Hajime. Would you like me to summarize the events of the Twilight game for you? Good. Now that we're here alone, I can bury you in the sand and no one will ever hear your cries for help. Why do people keep threatening to do this to me and actually doing it, too? <laughs> My Nagito! Whoa! Whoa! Why the hell are you here? Hello there. Why, hello there, Kazuichi. <laughs> Thanks for going easy on me earlier. You could have really hurt me. Thanks to you, I was able to walk away with just mild bruising. You clearly think like an ultimate. And I didn't even have a concussion. Ushin, Ushin, Ushin. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, this bastard. Oh, look, a metal bite, a bat. Uh, I don't know what's going on anymore. Well, I think the joke got hit in the head with a metal bat and killed. You two have arrived at a, a good time. Good news. I have discovered something very terrible. A terrible discovery? Um, um not only that, I believe it's nothing like Sonya's, but there's something I noticed too. If Mikan noticed it, it's worth pointing out. Yeah. Because she has been noticing all the relevant stuff that everyone's just like, Arr. Oh yeah, she's quite, she's quite perceptive. You too, Mikan? <laughs> yeah, this is great. It looks like the investigation is reaching its boiling point. Oh, God. Well... You're gonna talk to Pekka last, aren't you? <laughs> okay, fine. It what? You actually talked to me? Before them? Well, we're nearly out of investigation time. Now that you mention it. Mikan just finished performing the autopsy. Ah! She might have found an important clue, don't you think? Also, it seems Sonya has some information, too. I apologize. Uh, I apologize. I'm not being that helpful. Uh-huh. We're concerned about Peko. One of the things that we thought about in between episodes was that... The bottles. All the, all the bottled water that was in the, the, trash, the bin. trash bin... Could have been used to wash up blood. You wouldn't do that with all the sugary drinks. The killer uh -huh. could have gone into the shower and used the bottled water to wash off all the blood. And who showed up covered in water? Pecco dripping with water did show up. And the way that girl E, Sato, was able to get away with the murder in, in the Twilight game was by breaking the window to make it look like somebody uh -huh. escaped through the window, then walking right up this Bam, yep. did the deed, and then just walked right on up to the other girls. Yep. So, like, that would fit with Pekko. Also, Pekko was the only person who knew about Sparkling Justice because she was there in the library when Sonia talked and about it. And she referenced it. And Pekko could... And so, she, by dropping the mask, that sort of, like, check out Sonia, the serial killer. Uh-huh. Uh, the serial killer junkie, but she's the only person who knows that. Now... But we that, don't know why she would. None, none of that 
means that we definitively think it's Pecco. Right, but right. But that is a scenario in which it could be Pecco. Also, right. and this is completely meaningless, her her dripping wet bathing suit sprite was also tying up the, messing with the tie on the yeah, sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've never seen that sword of you. Me either. So, she, I mean, the sword could have been the weapon. That's true. Because we know it's not a real sword. Yeah. Well, you see, I talked to her first, and she's like, you should go talk to everyone else. I'm never talking to her first again. Oh, my. M Miss Sonia, she looks strangely excited. Oi! <laughs> awesome. That's like a powerful gap, boy. That, that is a... Man, I don't really get it, but nice one, princess. That Miss Sonia is something else. So you're not going to contribute anything to this part of the investigation, It's fine. Just leave him alone. This guy is just so laid back. I should leave him alone. Oi, typo. Hey, tell me what you know already. Didn't you find out whose footprints those were? Actually, how were you able to find that out? Shoe size, it's not that difficult. After listening to everyone's story at the airport, I went to a certain place. Well... It's probably better to say I snuck in <laughs> to everyone's cottages. Isn't it weird how I'm able to get in even though they're all locked? Well, the doors might not automatically lock. Some people may just be, or may, may have had their windows open, like you saw in Mahiru's cottage. See? I'm not suspicious at all. Thanks, Billy. You really did me a solid. Everyone's cottages? You probably looked for sand on the shoes. Yep. I told Monokuma I needed access for the investigation, so he simply let me in. It's That's not suspicious! That bastard, he did something shady again. Now then. But why did I do something like that? Well, I'll explain my reasoning to you. I don't want to hear your goddamn reasoning. Nagito squatted down near the entrance to the beach house and began to spread some newspapers he was holding. I don't know why I said newspapers, those are just regular papers. See? Come on, Hajime, take a look. After all, I went to the trouble of gathering all this. Did, did you go up to people and trace their feet? Oh, no, the shoes. Their shoes, their shoes in size. their cottage. Okay, okay. Th those footprints. I see. So the reason you snuck inside everyone's cottages was... Yep. That's right. I wanted to get a sample of everybody's footprints. Uh, but unfortunately, Fuyuhiko wouldn't leave his cottage, so I couldn't complete it. <laughs> well, I guess it's no big deal. It seems obvious that the footprints belong to this person. Yeah, Fuyuhiko is really small, so it should be pretty clear if they were his or not. Whose footprints are they? Yep. Hyoko Sionji, of course. Hyoko's? Okay, so our first assumption was right that those were Hyoko's from when she ran off. Well... To be honest, the reason I summoned her to the airport was so I could lure her out of her cottage. Ah... Uh. She shut herself inside her cottage, remember? If she stayed in there, I couldn't sneak in. Perhaps. So I figured if I lured her out, she wouldn't be in a hurry to go back to her cottage. You're treating her like a small animal. Well, Although, it... you're treating her better than she treats small animals. <laughs> Don't forget, it worked too, didn't it, Hajime? <laughs> it was totally worth it. Ah, you're a foot person too, huh? The footprint I collected there was smaller than anyone else's and matched the footprints at the beach house. Yep, there's no mistake. Unless Fuyuhiko's feet are even smaller than I can believe, these are <laughs> Hiyoko's footprints. I suppose it's possible. But probably not. I'm sure those are just Hiyoko's footprints. Yeah. Um... Also, it's not like I was snooping around or anything, but I found something really interesting at her cottage. I am not interested in what you found in her underwear drawer, Nagito. Something interesting? By See? the way... Did you say also a foot person a little while ago? No, no, you're just mishearing. Anyway, I found a lot of these candies inside a room. That's the exact same candy we found in the closet, which we already established. Hmm. They're gummy candies that come in four different flavors. Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. <laughs> oh, yeah? The uh, one we found was uh, yellow. Wasn't it? It, it? I'm pretty sure it was yellow, yeah. It is a yellow gummy. Uh-huh. You know, melon is green. That's could it be, true. Could it be orange? Maybe it could be orange. I guess the only way to find out is to eat it. That does not look like orange. It doesn't, and you're right. Melon is normally green. It looks like she got it from the supermarket. Apparently, she really likes this brand of gummies. There should have been other gummy brands, but she only brought home a bunch of these. Or there's that. Yeah. 
People are like that sometimes. There are people who only eat the same brand, even if it's just potato chips. I like Doritos, okay? I mean, I can't eat them anymore, but back off. What's wrong with that? <laughs> ah, I see. Delivering a full-throated defense <laughs> of mono-foodism. Well, it's not clear if this relates to the incident, but I thought I should tell you just in case you found a gummy in the closet. So that you could implicate her later. Just in case. Coming from this guy, that must mean... It probably greatly relates to the incident. Mikan, you had something to say too, right? Um, well, compared to the others, what I have to say isn't that important. So please don't get your hopes up and be disappointed. I get it, so just get on with it. Um, I tried my best to perform the autopsy, and I was able to find out... After your last autopsy, I don't think... I, your best is pretty freaking good. Yeah, of she course. She noticed how... She was able to tell how big the freaking holes were. To, to be fair, you could do that by looking at it. I was but I'm anyway. also... <laughs> I'm also praising Mekon. Of course she can do autopsies, and that's very good that she can. And she's very perceptive. Yeah. Mahiru was definitely killed by a blow to the head. She was probably struck from behind by one blow. Based on the scar, the weapon is clearly the metal bat. But every dark cloud has a silver lining, as they say. Um, it looks like Mahiru didn't suffer. So she was dragged to the door and placed there then? Yeah, that's it, that's it. Because it, because Hajime said that maybe she, she crawled through it to get to the door yeah, and then there's... slumped out. Right, so she was set up to look like it from the, look like what happened in the game. So the person could have left through the door behind Mahiru. Not like this though. If the person who killed her dragged her over to the door and propped her up, she would have had to have left through the window. Oh, you're right. You're or right. found a or way to not leave, leave footprints. footprints. But I mean, you could just brush your footprints. I know, I know, but what does that mean? Well, we kind of just talked about it. No, no, no. The, the, the <laughs> He's dying... talking about something else. Yeah, well, the dying instantly part is really good because that deals with that inconsistency. Oh, um, there's no doubt that she died instantly. Her death was instant? That sounds a little strange. I think I'd better remember that. Oh, it's just so sad. Like seeing her picture next to... Yeah. And there's another thing I found. Oh, I'm sorry I started talking on my own. Were you busy right now? No, it's okay, Mikan. Contents of the truth bullet. No, no, it's okay, Mikan. See, I press a button to advance the text. What? Just tell me. Okay. <laughs> um, during the autopsy, I discovered this in Mahiru's pocket. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30 p.m. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Hiyoko Sayonji. Why did she say her own name? Ah, uh, this letter. <laughs> if this letter is real, it would mean Hiyoko met up with Mahiru, right? Plus, Mahiru's estimated time of death was around 3 o'clock p.m., and they met 30 minutes prior. This is just too convenient. There's no way it can be uh, that it can be Hiyoko. It's like an ace attorney. Whoever it is that the, the yeah. defendant is, it's like, with, with exceptions that might exist, you can just assume that they're wrong. And then when they change their implication or something and try to make it be somebody else, it's not going to be them either. <laughs> if, it's, if we're coming into it assuming it's Hiyoko... Yeah. That that means we've kind of cleared her already. Mm -hmm. We just don't know how. Ah, well, yeah. If we think about what that implies, then... Oh, I'm starting to get confused! If it's true, what does it mean? What happened between Mahiru and Yoko? Big news! Listen, I have big news! Huge, huge news! What's the big news? Remember that Sunwitch Esper Ito mask that was next to Mahiru's body? Oh, the mask the killer used to hide their face. Listen. No, that is not correct. That mask was not just used to hide their face. Then what was it for? Well, Sparkling justice, just like BSG thought and probably everybody that played this game thought long, long ago. What? 
Sparkling Justice is a serial killer and self-professed ally of justice whose name makes mankind shudder. Like most other serial killers. They wear a hero mask at all times. Supposedly, they are a serial killer who only murders other criminals, like Dexter, except probably really bad, though. Mm -hmm. That is an order. <laughs> Do not look so disappointed, Hajime. You need to be surprised. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That's much better. This, and here we are. This sparkling justice character. <laughs> That's the serial killer you were talking about before, right? It, why are you two looking at me, Billy and Damon? Why are you sweat dropping? It's true that the mask we found is a hero mask, but wow. it is a heroine mask, to be precise. Sun Witch. Oh, wait, there's a musical note there. Maybe I should say Sun Witch. No, that sounds <laughs> terrible. Esper Ito is a pretty witch girl. See? A heroine. Anyway. So you're saying it's possible that this <laughs> serial killer <laughs> is the one who killed Mahiru? <laughs> Why are you are you laughing? Because oh, this is the scenario oh that. Oh my god! She's just so suspicious, especially when she's just like, I'd better make sure that they all really understand what's going on here. I, I mean, I hope that it isn't her, but it might not be. But there's a lot of suspicious stuff going on here. We it's just like with Hiyoko and Fuyuhiko. I don't think it's them, but uh -huh. we need to, we have to be able to clear them. Yeah. Same with Peko and Akane. It's just they those are the ones who really need to be cleared. It's just I can't think of a reason why Peko would. That's the thing. Well, it doesn't matter at this yeah, point. Yeah, you're right. Which means there's a serial killer hiding among us? If I didn't know any better, I'd say it was you, buddy boy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen a twist like this in some other video game. Did you guys get that? <laughs> that was a reference to Chapter 2 of Danganronpa 1. What? This is stupid. Serial killer, my ass. The killer just used it to cover their face, even though Mikan just said she was struck from behind. Besides... Literally nobody is going to be fooled. Right, right. I mean, maybe if Sonya was wearing the wetsuit and had that mask on, but she has all that hair, so that was Yeah, weird. everyone ha everyone's characters are just too distinct. It That's just seems weird. like the it just seems like the mask, just like the serial killer stuff in the second uh -huh. in, in the first game, is meant to distract from what it actually was. Yeah. But even so, they sure chose something that stands out. That might be true, but... I never really watched Esperito. It wasn't really my style. I've... <laughs> I, I'm more into shonen stuff. That makes sense? Although it's easy to write this off as foolish, it might be best if we exercise some caution. Sonia, can you tell me everything you know about this so-called sparkling justice just to plant it in the minds of everyone here? shines upon my mask... I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. The hell? Justice complete. What? The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. I, but this it, sounds like a theme from a cartoon or something. Is this Bobby Fulbright from Dual Destinies? That would be me. Sparkling justice. Yeah, it's like a henching phrase. The, Injustice we trust! What the heck was that? Well? That is Sparkling Justice's catchphrase. I don't really know how anybody would know how it sounds, though. Does he write it down and leave it, like, leave a freaking... Does... It's a cross... Bloodlust is so cliche. I've got a whole freaking paragraph to write on this wall. <laughs> no, it's like Sparkling Justice is a cross between Common Rider and... Uh, and Dexter. And Dexter, yeah. What? An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase? Do you have a minute? I read it in a magazine in the library. It has to be true. There has only ever been one person, a journalist who has interviewed Sparkling Justice. Oh, okay, that makes sense. The article was written in their native language, so I tried translating it. However... In the end, that journalist was punished by Sparkling Justice, too. <sighs> no good can come from getting involved with a serial killer. Isn't that right, Toko Byakuya? <laughs> the serial killer might not want to hear that from you. Um, um, this is all I know about Sparkling Justice. But 
thanks but to I the thought you were a huge fan of him. Her, thanks whatever. To, thanks to the masks, nobody knows their true age or gender, making them a very mysterious individual. Isn't that kind of a stretch to say that there's a serial killer hiding in our group? <laughs> <I've>, right, guys? <laughs> I've never seen something like that at all. <laughs> How cliche! <laughs> <laughs> No, it does not mean they are in our group. Smelly Nagito. <laughs> <laughs> it is possible the serial killer was lurking on this island all along before they decided to murder Mahiru. Well, that's probably not possible. I mean, that wasn't in my original plan. I mean, uh... I... But that is the only thing I can think of. I mean, no matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Uh, that one of us is capable of committing such a horrible murder. No matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Sonia. I do understand Sonia's feelings, but it's highly unlikely that there's a serial killer hiding on this island. This time. <laughs> oh, God. As expected. The time for unparalleled hedonism has come to an end. Aww. Come. Now is the time to fight the decisive battle. Is he saying that we're not going to have such an obviously fan service -y chapter anymore? That's probably what he was referencing, all the swimsuit stuff. The hostility of fresh blood. The insanity of a contest of wits. The class trial is finally raising its curtain! I like that he's got a different one of these for each trial. Yeah, this is nice. It sounds like the next episode preview of an action show. Yeah! So meet up in front of Monokuma Rock. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon! Jikai Kuras Turayaru! Now then. Looks like it's time. I guess the investigation is over. So it's finally starting. The class trial where our hopes and the killer's hope will finally clash. <laughs> but it's all right. Either way, hope will win in the end. All right. Now then, let's go prove it. Uh, what's he so excited about? There's no reason to respond to a guy like that, Kazuichi. Anyway, we should start heading over at the trial field where Monokuma is waiting. I have to make my case there. There is no escape. We have no choice but to press forward. Now then, let us go. As we talked among ourselves, we left the beach house and Mahiru's body. That was terrifying. I don't even necessarily know what that was. Did it fire out of his belly button? Kinda looks like it. Tranquility, a whole freaking bunch of mono coins. And a memory notebook. Huh. <laughs> Get out of here, you nut. Crying as he leaves. So we're not suspicious of who the game wants us to be suspicious of, and we are suspicious of who the game doesn't want us to be suspicious of. Isn't that about how it normally works, though? Most of the time. Yeah, yeah. Dungarumpa.